Kidney also help in osmoregulation. We know that osmoregulation, the regulation of water inside the body, uh, is one of the very important components uh, of the functioning of human body because water is an essential part. This makes a 92 percent of plasma. And if concentration of water in plasma changes, then this may result in changes in blood pressure. Kidney also help in osmoregulation. If the concentration of water in the body is increased, then kidneys are uh, stimulated to produce a dilute urine, which means that at the renal tubules, reabsorption of water is reduced. There are different mechanisms for it, but the ultimate result is that the urine is diluted, that is less reabsorption of water occur at the renal tubules. The result is in urine, uh, the organism excretes more water. We call it a dilute urine. This situation could change if there is a um, drop in the plasma volume. For example, due to an injury, due to excessive sweating, this is possible that the blood volume drops because during sweating, we know if there is an excessive sweating, for example, during sports or uh, running or in uh, warm weather, due, through sweat, lot much water is removed. So, plasma volume is reduced, which may reduce the blood pressure. Kidneys also help controlling this situation. In this case, if blood volume is reduced, kidneys produces the concentrated urine. That is, at the renal tubules, they absorb more than normal water. When they absorb more than normal water, then the urine which is produced have lesser quantities of water and more concentration of salts and other ingredients. We call it a concentrated urine. Um, when this situation comes, then a reflex arises for thirst and this reflex actually uh, gives message to the brain that uh, the body needs to drink water. This is called thirst reflex. Then we feel thirst. We have to drink water to actually compensate the blood volume to a normal level. Let us have a look on the another diagram. In case of lowering of blood pressure, nine times we know it occurs. This animation shows that if blood pressure lowers, then for body it could be sometimes even uh, problematic. Person become unconscious for some time. This may become more dangerous because uh, if blood pressure drops then uh, a specific threshold, then uh, the brain cells will not receive blood and they may damage. To control the situation, a hormone come in action. As you can see that uh, in the center, there is the renal tubule, the collecting duct. On one side is a peritubular tubular capillary. The other side, there is another capillary. Through one capillary, a hormone is produced called ADH antidiuretic hormone. Antidiuretic hormone as its name says give a reflex or give a stimulus to the renal tubule to reabsorb more water from the renal tubule, the collecting duct, the last part of the renal tubule called the collecting duct. When more water is reabsorbed, the result is concentrated urine, that is urine with lesser quantities of water. When this water goes back, excessive water goes back towards the blood capillary, the blood volume of the body is temporarily restored. But if this situation continues, the body have to find out some permanent solution or maybe thirst. But this mechanism, as we know that in both kidneys, lot many renal tubules, uh, not man, a lot many renal tubules are always producing the urine. So if antidiuretic hormone comes in action, actually it is conserving lot much of water, which can temporarily at least um, handle the situation of low blood pressure by increasing the volume of blood inside the vessels. Many times it occurs when uh, uh, we have done some excessive sports or uh, there is lot much of sweating due to sometimes warm weather, sometimes due to injury uh, and there is a blood loss. Um, this may also result in lowering blood pressure because blood volume is released. So this is a temporary solution to increase the blood pressure to a normal uh, or near normal level um, uh, for, uh, for the time, time being when the next help comes out. For example, if there is a loss of blood this and this is not an excessive loss, then this mechanism will rise up the blood pressure. But later on, if the blood is uh, excessively lost, then this have to be replaced by more blood or plasma. This situation sometimes also happen when we give blood as a donation. 
because uh, blood is going out of our body. This is a good big quantity. Uh, I hope you know that when you give a blood, uh, uh, when you give some blood to the uh, as a donation to some some um, say organization, they always ask you to drink some more juice, some juices and water. So this is actually to compensate your volume of water inside the body to maintain your blood pressure. So this was about the excretory system, system of excretion. Uh, we covered uh, excretion in uh, animals and uh, a more detailed uh, human excretory system. I hope you understand what we talked about today about the excretory system.